understand God's word. First, I will tell you how we come to know reality. For example, through our eyes and ears and other five senses, the, the information is coming into the mind. And it is going as waves and as current to the mind. And there the thought is formed, the thought. And that thought is reaching every part of our body through the nervous system. Now, with this thought that is coming into the mind, also there are certain emotions that is going through. Whatever we think, whatever we experience is, is reaching not only to the mind, but also every part of our body. Some, if they are bad, if the thoughts or experiences are bad, then, uh, then it will affect badly in every part of our body. And that can create sickness in our life. So it's our duty to think the way God thinks then healing comes. If I do not change my wrong way of thinking, then that will create wrong emotions in every part of our body. And that will make us sick. We go to the doctor But God says, no, first you come back to live your, my word. Change your life. Then I will give the divine life. For example, we find in Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Verse 2. Kapitola 12, verš 2. A nepripodobňujte sa tomuto svetu, ale premente sa obnovou zmýšľania, aby ste vedeli rozoznať, čo je Božia vôľa, čo je dobré, milé a dokonalé. So, new attitude has to come to my mind. Nový postoj musí prísť do mojej mysle. And then we will know what is right and what is wrong. A potom budeme poznať, čo je dobré, správne a čo nie. What is acceptable to God. Čo je our mind must change. Musí sa naša mysel. And therefore our retreat is called, uh, it can be said, uh, uh, or, uh, 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 the title can be given, Healing begins with the transformation of the heart. A the healing. Sa mysle. If I do not change my heart, no healing. Ak nezmením svoje srdce, uzdravenie nepríde. From the worldly, devilish way of thinking to godly way of thinking, I must come. A musíme um, prejsť od takého diabolovú zmýšľania k Božiemu zmýšľaniu. And then Holy Spirit will tell me what is right, what is good, what is profitable. A tedy mi Duch Svetý ukáže, čo je dobré, milé a správne. So, I, my mind must change. Musí sa zmeniť moja mysel. If I do not change my mind, i am not going to be the way God wants. In Proverb 23, verse 7,
lebo ako zmýšľa v duši, taký je. Jec a pí, praví ti, ale jeho srdce ti nežičí. Uh, I think in some other place, but their hearts are not with you. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, if our hearts are with the Lord, then I will be having experience in healing. Ak budú naše srdcia u Boha, tak vtedy zapustím uzdravenie. The way I think I am going to be. Pretože spôsob, akým zmýšľam, tam bude ovplyvňovať, taký budem. If I am thinking hateful thoughts in my mind, ak mám uh, v hlave myšlienky nenávisti, it will affect my whole body, ovplyvní to celé moje telo, and I will be sick. A budem chorý. With a headache. Budem mať bolesti hlavy. You will cancer. Budem mať rakovinu. You have backbone problems. Budeme mať problémy s chrbticou. What do we do? We go to the doctor. Pôjdeme k lekárovi. Doctor can only treat the symptoms, cannot heal the sickness. A však čo dokáže urobiť lekár? Iba liečiť symptómy, príznaky. The, the most important thing is I change my wrong way of thinking and feeling. Preto je dôležité, aby som zmenil svoj spôsob zmýšľania a cítenia. And then only the healing will come to our life. A vtedy do našho života príde uzdravenie. So, when our thinking is according to God, this tremendous change comes in our life. Ak bude naše zmýšľanie podľa Božieho zmýšľania, v našom živote nastane neuveriteľná zmena. And therefore we find in, uh, in Genesis chapter 6 verse 5, keď pán videl, že ľudská nerezť na zemi je veľká a že všetko zmýšľanie ich srdca je, ustavi- six, six, yeah. je ustavične naklonené na zle, pán odotoval, že stvoril človeka na zemi. So, how every desire that their heart conceived was always nothing but evil that part you want to read second part of that. second the first one yeah. Yeah. yeah so okay 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 so so every desire every thought they had in their mind was evil and then verse 6 že zmýšľanie ich srdca o, je naklonené na zle. A potom verš 6. Pán Balutoval, že stvoril človeka na zemi. Why did I this Prečo som stvoril tohto človeka? I want this think to me and enjoy of life. Ja chcem, aby tento človek zmýšľal podľa mňa a aby zakúsil plnosť života. But that mind is with the evil Ale mysel tohto človeka je naplnená zlými myšlienkami sinful thoughts. And therefore, he or she is destroying oneself. A preto on alebo ona ničí sama seba. Therefore, what is sad when we are not able to enjoy fullness of life? Boh je smutný, pokiaľ si nedokážeme užívať plnosť života. Only when we live God's word, we will have the fullness of life. A iba ak žijeme podľa Božieho slova, dokážeme uh, žiť naplno. My spirit will be joined with God's spirit. Môj duch bude napojený na Božieho ducha. God, I live God's word. Budem žiť Božie slovo. Therefore my thinking will be peaceful, calm and joyful. Moje zmýšľanie bude pokojné a mier, mierumilovné. And then the, this order is coming to oh, my body. Do môjho tela vstúpi poriadok. And then sickness go away. A choroba odíde. So the best thing is that I instead of going to the doctor first change my wrong way of thinking. In Jesus um, Irak uh, chapter uh, 38 verse 9 and 10 is Irak. V Sirakovcovej knihe 38 38. kapitola 9 až 10 Synu, pri chorobe sa nezanedbávaj, ale modli sa k pánovi a uzdraví ťa. Odvráť sa od hriechu 
a nech sú tvoje ruky priame so, a očisti si srdce od každej neprávosti. So first thing is, go back to God. Prvá vec je, vráť sa k Bohu. Repent of your sin. R- čiň pokáň za svoje hriechy. Renounce the sin. Zriekni sa hriechu. Command that power of people that to control of me to go away from my life. Nechcem, aby zlý kontroloval m- môj život, odiť o ňom odo mňa. And give that to Jesus. Odozdajte to Ježišovi. And Jesus blesses you. Ježiš ťa požehnáva. And then you come back to live at the way God wants. A vtedy sa vraciame k životu, ktorý chce Boh od nás. You reprogram your mind. Musíte svoju mysel preprogramovať. And that is conversion. That, that is conversion. Conversion. A, a to sa volá konverzia. So from the wrong way of thinking to God's way of thinking. Od zlého zmyšľania k zmyšľaniu podľa Boha. For example, two years ago a lady came from Düsseldorf in Germany. Napríklad pred dvoma rokmi za mnou prišla jedna žena v Nemecku z Düsseldorfu. Doctor said she had reached the fourth stage of cancer. A doktori jej povedali, že dosiahla štvrté štádium rakoviny. And we cannot do anything for her. A že už pre ňu nemôžu nič urobiť. Then she came for the retreat. A potom prišla na duchovné cvičenia. Then I asked is there anybody whom you have to forgive? A spýtal som sa jej, máte v živote niekoho, komu potrebujete odpustiť? Two people, there are two people she has to forgive. A v živote mala dvoch ľudí, ktorým potrebovala odpustiť. For many years. Už veľa rokov. And then I helped her to forgive those and love them. A som jej pomohol, aby im odpustila a aby ich milovala. Not only forgive, but love them after that. Nie len odpustiť, ale následne aj milovať. See how they should have been living they try to imagine their mind museli, museli sme zmeniť jej mysel as a Christian a, aby zmyšľala ako, ako kresťan and then how they are going to live in the future následne takto mohla žiť aj do budúcnosti she did it urobila to she went back vrátila sa naspäť yet again the medical check up a išla na lekárskú prehliadku no sign of cancer. A nemala žiadnu známku rakoviny na tele. Is clear? Rozumiete tomu? Yes. Our thoughts must change. Musí sa zmeniť naše myšlienky. You look in your own thoughts. What are the type of thoughts? Pozrite sa na svoje myšlienky, ak, aké druhy myšlienok sú to. Unless you bring order to your thinking, you cannot be healed. Do svojho zmýšľania musíte byť sporiadok. Jedine vtedy môžete byť uzdravení. I must bring God's order into my life. Do môjho života musím priniesť Boží poriadok. So now, today, as I said earlier, 87% of our uh, sickness is coming because of wrong thinking. Ako som už dneska povedal, 87% našich chorôb je spôsobených zlých zmýšľaní. Now, we first you saw the Ten Commandments. Najprv o, sme si hovorili o tých desiatich prikázaniach. But there are certain other sins which we don't consider as sins. A však sú tu aj iné riechy, ktoré spôsobujú choroby. Because of a wrong attitude. A sú to naše zlé postoje. One most important thing is our fear. O, napríklad náš strach. Fear, anxiety, stress. O, strach, úzkosť a stres. Now these things create negative secretions for, uh, uh, th- th- our, uh, uh, n- negative hormones are produced and they, they make us sick. And they go to the brain and nervous system and go to different parts of our body and they make us sick a spôsobujú choroby. A devor, I must be getting out of my fear. Preto mm, sa musím prestať báť. For example, because of fear, you can have heart problem. Napríklad kvôli strachu môžete trpieť chorobami srdca. It's tangina problem. Uh, an, another heart problem. Uh, môžete mať srdcové problémy. You can have arthritis. Arthritis is another problem. Alebo artritídu. And now so many others. About hundred sicknesses can, can come because of fear. But God says in 1 John 4.18 
for 18 for 18 kapitola 4 a verš 18 nám Boh hovorí v láske nie strachu a dokonalá láska vyháňa strach lebo strach má v sebe trest a kto sa bojí nie je dokonalý v láske if there is love there is no fear ak je láska, tak nie je strach if there is a loving father is there Fear in the child towards the father? If the father is loving, is there fear in the child towards the father? No. So same way, if God is love, and I experience that God is love, and if I experience that God is love, then I have no fear of anything. Ak zakúsim túto, zažijem túto lásku, tak sa nebudem bať ničoho. But we are not experienced that God is love. Avšak my nezažívame, že Boh je láska. I just speak more about that afterwards. O tom si povieme neskôr. And therefore, we have got fear in our heart, so we cannot love God. Preto máme vo svojom srdci strach a nedokážeme Boha milovať. And when there is fear, we get many, many sicknesses in our life. A keď je tu strach, že sa to môžem ich chorovať. The, another important problem is our hatred and bitterness. The God is love. But I am having bitterness in my heart. Whose character is bitterness? Whose character? So, hatred is the character of devil. God's character is love, forgiving love, unconditional love. So, if I got bitterness in my heart, I become like whom? And therefore, he comes to kill and destroy. I must say, no, I will not allow bitterness to come because God created me in his image of love. And that I must say to myself. It's a decision of my will. Because if I hate, I will have no peace, I will become sick. Ak nenávidím, nemám v srdci pokoj, stávam sa chorý. When I love, I enjoj fullness of life. Ak milujem, užívam si plnosti života. When I do not love, I cannot enjoy life. Ak nemilujem, nemôžem si užívať život. Je to tak? Yes. So, when I hate, I cannot enjoy life. Ak nenávidím, nemôžem si užívať život. Our thinking, our spirit, our body are tense. Naše, naša mysel, uh, náš duch, všetko je také napäté. We are giving room for the evil one in our life. A v našom živote robíme priestor pre zle. So, we must really realize that if that's not for me, so I reject it. Preto si to musíme uvedomiť a odmietniť to. So, again, uh, the third one is low self-esteem. So often it is because our parents did not accept us or love us. No, to spôsobené tým, že naši rodičia nás buď nemilovali, alebo nás neprijali. Or they know, for example, as small children, they not kiss us, embrace us, cuddle us, and so on. A napríklad, ako keď sme boli deťmi, tak nás nehladkali, nemojkali, nedávali nám pusinky. And therefore, they begin to hate themselves. And they feel all the problems have come because of their mistake. The small child, when they, it's because of you all this has happened. The parents say. And therefore, instead of enjoying life, that person does not have any joy in life. That leads to depression. Many people are having depression. Important reason is that they did not get proper love. 
Dneska máme, máme veľa ľudí s depresiou a je to následkom toho, že sa im nedostávalo dostatok lásky. They hate themselves. A nenávidia sa. As a result, autoimmune diseases are coming into their lives. A následkom čoho sa začnú objavovať autoimmunné choroby. And that was since they don't accept themselves, they find joy in, in that tension to eat more. Uh, alebo začnú, začnú viacej jesť. And, uh, and as a result, they become very fat. Uh, Nasadkom čoho príberu. Or they're addicted to eating and drinking. A ovplyvňuje to aj, aj stravovacie návyky alebo režim pitia. Where parents must make them understand they are lovable people. A oni si musia uvedomiť, že sú milovanými ľuďmi. God loves them. Pretože ich miluje Boh. Even if the parents could not love them, God still loves them. A keď ich rodičia nedokázali správne milovať, Boh ich miluje. And but they are not doing their duty, therefore it doesn't mean that child is not worthless. To, že si rodičia neplnili povinnosti, to neznamená, že to dieťa je bezcenné. Our worth is in Christ who created us and saved us. Pretože naša hodnota je v Bohu, v Kristovi. So, for example, this evening there will be a childhood healing in our life, in the healing prayer. Dnes večer budeme mať modlitbu za uzdravenie zranení z detstva. Now, if you, rem- you can remember all those situations when you were rejected by your parents or others. Skúste sa rozpomenúť na všetky situácie, kedy ste boli odmietaní svojimi rodičmi. If you are today alive, because God wanted you to be in the world. A to, že dnes žijete, že ste tu prítomní, je preto, že Boh vás tu chcel mať. In Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4 we hear. A v liste Efezanom. Chapter 1 verse 4. A v prvej kapitole 4. verš čítame. 4. Veď v ňom, si, v ňom si nás ešte pred stvorením sveta vyvolil, aby sme boli pred jeho tvárou svety a nepoškvrnení v láske. So, before the foundation of the world, God loved you. Ešte pred stvorením sveta ťa Boh miloval. Whether parents love you or not is, is most important. To, či ťa milovali rodičia, nie je dôležité. But if, if God accepts you and God accepts you without any uh, Ale ak ťa miluje Boh, Boh ťa prijíma a miluje nepodmienečne. That is why he created you. Toto je pre, to, prečo ťa stvoril. That is why for your sin he died on the cross with a, a, a miserable death. Je to kvôli tebe, že sa obetoval a zomrel hroznou smrťou. He is walking with you in your life journey. On kráča s tebou na tvoje ceste života. He said, I am with you till the end of time. Hovorí ti, som s tebou až do konca sveta. Imagine and believe that God is with you. Predstav si a uber tomu, že Boh je s tebou. And love that God with all your heart. A miluj tohto Boha celou svojou slovo. And then you find it. God's love is more important than the love of the father and the mother. A potom uvidíme, že Božia láska je dôležitejšia ako láska rodičov. In Isaiah 49 and 49. Izajašovi 49. kapitola. 15 and 16. Verše 15 a 16. Či zabudne žena na svoje nebúňa a nemá zrutovanie nad plodom svojho lona. I keby ona zabudla, ja nezabudnem na teba. Even if your father and mother should reject you, God says, I will never, never reject you. Aj keby ťa otec alebo matka zavrhli, zabudli by na teba, ja ťa nikdy nezabrhnem. I was seen in counseling, many people who are rejected by the parents have become priests and nuns. Mnohokrát som videl, že počas nášho poradenstva veľa takýchto odmietaných ľudí sa stalo neskôr kniazmi alebo sestrami. Why? Prečo? Parents rejected, God accepted. Pretože rodičia zavrhli a Boh prijal. I know one sister who was thrown by the mother in the bin. A poznám jednu rehovnú sestričku, ktorú, ktorú matka zahodila do smetného koša. Nears passed by and felt something is moving in the bin. She looked, it, it was a child. She took the child, put it in the incubator. There was nobody to claim the child. That nurse took this child as her own child. 
a, a táto, táto sestra si ho vzala ako, ako svoj. Later this, sister, this person knew who was the mother. A neskôr sa toto dieťa dozvedelo, kto bola jeho matka. Mother should not show any interest in her. A tá matka sa vôbec nezaujímala o to dieťa. She turned Jesus and Mother Mary. A this, this girl, this, this child. This child turned into Jesus and Mother Mary. Toto dieťa sa obrátilo na Ježiša a Máriu. She joined a convent. Pridal sa do konventu. She is a very happy sister. A je to veľmi šťastná, že je veľmi sestra. God says, even if your father and mother should reject you, I will never, never reject you. Boh hovorí, ak ťa tvoj otec alebo tvoja matka odmietnú, ja ťa nikdy neodmietnem. In the unbelieving families, v neveriacich rodinách, There are children who are rejected by the parents. That child has got faith now. All of this do not have faith. So God leads the rejected ones to himself. Even if everybody rejects, God will never reject you. But, but often it's difficult to believe that. We often go into despair and they think that nobody is there, nobody loves me and so on. And that leads to many sicknesses. So please remember if you are of that sort, please pay more attention this evening for the healing prayer. Prosím vás, ak to robíte, sústredite sa dneska na večerný modlitbe. Now, fourth reason for this is the anger, rage, resentment that you have. A štvrtým dôvodom je hnev. Anger, rage, rage. Uh, uh, Zúrivosť. Anger. And then, this cause the veins to expand. Toto spôsobuje, že žily sa rozdiahnú. And it, it can even sometimes break the veins. A niekedy môžu prasknúť. For example, there are many sickness, including varicose problem. You know what is varicose? Mnohokrát to spôsobuje ochorenia ciemného systému. Uh, and even, for example, some women may have a problem in the uterus. Uh, uterus. uterus, because of terrible anger, no? Yeah. Uh, uterus means... Uh, women. Women's. So, therefore, we need to be calm, gentle. We must be like God. That is our salvation. But whereas we get angry and we destroy our mind, our health, our relationship. Now, the, the fifth book problem usually we have is the jealousy. They are not ready to accept themselves. They would like to be like somebody else. Oh, she is very good at singing. Or uh, your husband has got a big position and plenty of money. If I, if I, if uh, If I had that person uh, as my husband. So I'm angry with her because she got that person. Yes, that husband. So jealousy means I'm angry with somebody who has got something which I do not have and I expect to have. And it can create real problem even up to the bones. A môže to spôsobovať problém v kostiach. And therefore, be peaceful in your mind. Buďte pokojní vo svojich mysliach. Understand, you are a unique person. Pochopte, že ste jedinečné osobnosti. There's nobody like you in this world. Na tomto svete nie je nikto iný. Nie sme taký istý ako vy. And therefore, God loves you as a unique person. A Boh ťa miluje ako jedinečnú osobu. What is required for your salvation, for your life, God has given you. To, čo potrebujete pre svoju spásu, to vám Boh dal. Accept that. Príjmite to. Be content with that. 
can't be, be happy with that. And then you find, of course, blessing is coming to you. There are people who have got their jealousy and the envy in their mind about others, they are destroying themselves. They are destroying themselves. There are also some parents who want to be their children be perfect. That is, the children must have the, uh, the highest grade in the school. Only then you are my child. They tell you are not my child. So if they fail, they are punished, they look down. And compare this child to somebody else. See, that child is very clever. You are stupid. Look down and the child feels it. Remember, different people have got different aptitudes. Some are good for singing. Some are good for drawing. Some may be good for intellectual things. Some are good for practical things. Don't compare people. The parents took highest harm to the children by comparing the children with some other people. Or demanding the perfection as the parents think that, that is the perfection. God's perfection is, as in Matthew 5.48, be perfect as the Heavenly Father is perfect. When I forgive and love my enemy, I leave God's word. And then I become like the Heavenly Father. That is the goal of every human being. And we don't give the God's value system, we give world's value system. And then you spoil the mind of the child. In order to get to the acceptance and love of the parents, child works very hard. They are not trying to please God or to be what child wants to be. Or the children are driven to do certain things. So if you perform in the way I want, then I love you. If you do not perform according to my way, then I don't accept you. God accepts you as you are. And therefore, whether the parents accept you or not, God accepts you. Even with your sins, God accepts you. If otherwise, Jesus would not have come to die for you and for me. He loves me more than my sin. My sins may be very many. But his love for me is more than my sin. He will never reject me. He wants that till the last moment of my life I come back to the Lord. And therefore I realize there is a loving father more than my earthly father. So Certainly parents will be looking for achievement and performance. And if I do not live up to that, if I do not love, live up to the expectation of the parents, perfection is doing things and so on, then the children will have always tiredness in their life. 
a tak deti potom budú vždy uh, unavené. And that will be a pattern of life in their, when they are growing adults. A takisto, keď, keď budú rásť, tak to ich bude sprevádať celým životom. And therefore, dear friends, we must accept them as they are. A preto ich, drahé priateľe, musíme prijímať také, aké sú. Uh, otherwise, we are destroying their life. Inak im ničíme život. And then there are some other important things which are also the cause of sickness in our life. Sú tu aj iné dôvody, ktoré spôsobujú choroby v našich životoch. One is sex outside the marriage. Jedným z nich je aj sex mimo manželstva. And there we are breaking God's law and we do not control our own, on our own selves. Porušujeme Boží zákon a nemáme kontrolu nad samými sebou. When we break the order of God, the evil one comes into our life. Ničíme Božiu moc a prichádza zlý. And then he comes to destroy. A prichádza, aby ničil. For example, we shall read Hosea 5.4. Kniha Ozeáš, 5. kapitola, 4. verš. Ich skutky im nedovolujú vrátiť sa k svojmu Bohu, lebo je v nich smilný duch. Takže nepoznajú Pána. Or, or Alebo 4, verš 12, druhá časť. Lebo ich zaviedol smilný duch a smilne sa odvrátili od Boha. So, many people who are having sex before the marriage with the, any other people, we are giving room for the evil one to destroy us and our family tomorrow. A mnoho ľudí, ktorí, má sex, ktorí majú sex pred manželstvom, dávajú miesto zlému, aby ich ničili dnes a ich rodiny zajtra. And for example, in a 1 Corinthians 11.3 V prvom liste Korintianom 11. kapitola a verš 3 Ale chcem, aby ste vedeli, že hlavou každého muža je Kristus, Hlavou ženy je muž a hlavou Krista Boh. The order in the family is the wife be submitting to the husband. Poriadok v rodine je, že žena je podriadená mužovi. Husband submitting to Christ. Muž je podriadený Ježišovi. Christ submitting to the Father. A Ježi- Ježiš je podriadený Bohu. The submission out of love. Toto je podradenosť lásky. So as father loves the son, tak ako otec miluje Boha, son loves the husband, Uh, syn miluje manžela. And the same way, has to, uh, love the wife. A pro, rovnakým spôsobom manžel má milovať manžela. And when yeah, this order is there, God blesses the family. Ak je v rodine nastolený tento poriadok, tak Boh tú rodinu požehnáva. Whereas I have seen in many cases where women try to, do not want to keep this order. V mnohých rodinách som videl, že ženy sa snažia spriečiť sa tomuto poriadku. They are trying to rule the family again is the husband. Snažia sa riadiť rodinu. And then there are many problems coming into their life. A do ich života prichádza mnoho problémov. There, are, there will be many sickness in the children. Uh, deti budú chore. Once a woman came and told me. Raz sa mnou prišla jedna žena a povedala mi. Father, after your class I understood why my three children are drug addicts. Uh, uh, drug addicts. My three children are drug addicts. Drug, drug, you know. Eh? Children are eating drugs. Okay. Um, žena hovorila, že, že až počas tej prednášky si uvedomila, že prečo jej tri deti sú závislé na drogách. God's order was not in the family. Pretože Boží poriadok nebol v tej rodine. Or the father is not taking the responsibility for the family. Napríklad, keď sa uh, muž, uh, keď nie si zodpovednosť za svoju rodinu. Therefore, husband and wife have to take the responsibility as God planned. A muž a žena musia byť zodpovednými za rodinu, tak ako to plánoval Boh. Otherwise, the problem may come even for the child in the womb. A, m- pretože to môže ovplyvniť dieťa, ktoré je dokonca ešte len v maternici. And therefore, it's important that women submit to the husband as Christ submits to the father. Preto je dôležité, aby sa žena podriadila mužovi tak, ako sa Kristus podriaduje Bohu. And also, husband submit to Christ. A takisto aj manžel sa má podriadiť Kristovi. And only then there is a The God's order in the family. And then, uh, another important thing is, uh, thing is, fast involvement in the occult things. 
And also in other false religions. So by going that, we are giving room for the evil one to destroy us. And therefore, if you go to the power of evil, he will destroy you. Jesus says in John 10.10, 10, the evil one comes only to kill and to destroy. But I have come that you may have life fully, have the fullness of life. A to dear friends, now Jesus has come to us to give fullness of life. And therefore, if I have gone to the occult things, it will affect the whole family, not only us, also to the next generation. And finally, the inherited diseases that is coming to us. Because parents or ancestors have done some sin. And that is, that is coming into their gene. And through gene it comes to the next generation. And we may have sickness in the next generation. For, for example, in the, in the family there is an allergy, heart disease, or, or similar things, it may come from the parents to the children. And therefore we need to pray for those ancestors from whom it began. And therefore, we must bring God's order into our family. Therefore, in all these areas, we are disobeying God. Sin is a disobedience. And when I sin, devil has got every right to destroy our life. And when we do that, curse comes to our life. And that curse will come in the spirit, in, in, in our spirit. It, comes, it will come to our mind. So lack of peace in our mind. And it will come also as sickness in our life. Stand up, God is telling, I am here to heal you if you come back to me. For example, we find in Exodus 15, verse 26. A povedal, ak budeš počúvať hlas pána, svojho Boha, a budeš robiť to, čo je v jeho očiach správne, a poslúchne všetky jeho rozkazy, a zachováš všetky jeho ustanovenia, potom ťa nezastihnem takými biedami, akými som postihol egyptianom, lebo ja pán, som tvoj lekár. So, God is here to heal us if we live God's word. Boh je tu, aby nás uzdravil, keď žijeme Please read that sentence once again. Ešte raz to prečítam. A povedal, ak budeš počúvať hlas pána, svojho Boha, budeš robiť to, čo je v jeho očiach správne, poslúchne všetky jeho rozkazy, zachová všetky jeho ustanovenia, potom ťa nezastihnem takými biedami, akými som postihol egyptianov, lebo ja pán, som tvoj lekár. So, when I live, come back to live God's word, he brings healing to us. Keď sa vrátim naspäť k pánovi, priniesie do môjho života uzdravenie. Deuteronomy, chapter 7. Deuteronomy, kapitola 7. Verse 7. Chapter 7, verse 11 and 12. Verse 11 až 12. Preto zachovávaj príkazy, zákony a ustanovenia, ktoré ti ja dnes prikazujem plniť. And verse 15. 
Keď budeš počúvať tieto ustanovenia a keď ich budeš zachovávať a plniť, Pán tvoj Boh ti zachová zmluvu a láskavosť, ktorú odprisahal tvojim otcom. Ešte tam je verš 15. Uh, pán oddial od teba každú chorobu a nedovolí, aby na teba doľahla nejaká hrozná egyptská bieda, ktoré poznáš a dopustí ich na všetkých tvojich nepriateľov. So musím sa zriek, uh, musím činiť pokánie za svoje hriechy. Pane, urobil som niečo zlé, spriečil som sa tvojmu plánu, ktorý máš so mnou I want to a chcem sa zmeniť. I ask pardon. Uh, prosím ťa o odpustenie. That is repentance. To je uh, pokánie. I can no more continue to live that way. Nemôžem naďalej žiť týmto spôsobom. And command that power of evil to come into your life. Command that power of evil, that power of evil that is coming to your life to go away from. A, a prikáž, aby moc zlého odišla odo mňa. So when you disobey God's word, keď neuposlúchneme Božie slovo, you give to the evil one the legal right to remain in your life or to, to make you a slave to him. Dávame právo diablovi, aby si nás otročil. And when you repent and renounce it and come back to Jesus, tak činíme pokánie a zriekneme sa zlého a vrátime sa k Ježišovi. The, the evil slavery will go away. Uh, otrostvo diabla, on nás odíde. And then you become the slave of Jesus Christ. A staneme sa otrokmi Ježiša Krista. That is freedom. A to sa volá sloboda. That is the healing from sickness. A je to uzdravenie od chorobov. So God wants to give that. Boh vám to chce dať. So, not merely healing, but forgiveness and change of life and healing. A nie len toto uzdravenie, ale odpustenie a zmenu života. Again, Psalm 103, verse 3. A takisto v Žalmoch. 103, verse 3. Verse 3. 103, verse 3. Žalm 3, verse 3. Mnohí o mne hovoria, Boh mu nepomáha. So, God wants to forgive our sins and also heal our sickness. Boh nám chce odpustiť a, a chce nás uzdraviť. First thing is forgiveness. Prvá vec je uzdravenie. If I do not, I not forgiven, healing will not come. A teda prvá vec je odpustenie a v neodpustím, Boh ku mne nepríde. A teda, know what is the reason for your sickness and then uh, 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 repent and come back to the Lord. Musíme poznať, čo spôsobuje naše choroby a očiniť pokánie a vrátiť sa k Pánovi. So when we hear God's word, but God wants that I live that word. Musíme počúvať Božie slovo a musíme ho uskutočňovať. I correct my life. I, I change. I change my life. Musíme zmeniť svoj život. And then I become to live the way God wants me to live. A vtedy začneme žiť tak, ako to chce Boh. And then we get a new life. Joy, peace. A vtedy sa začína nový život uh, s láskou a s radosťou. So God's will is to heal all of us. Boh chce uzdraviť každého z nás. But if I do not want to change, healing will not come. Zmeniť, tak For example, you find in Deuteronomy chapter 28. Deuteronomy, uh, 28. Uh, the first is one and two. Verse 28, verse one and two. Verse jeden až dva. Keď však budeš počúvať hlas Pána svojho Boha, keď budeš plniť a zachovávať jeho príkazy, ktoré ti ja dnes nariadujem, Pán, tvoj Boh ťa povýši na všetky národy, čo sú na zemi. So when you keep the law, God's blessing comes to you. Na teba sa znesú, ak tebe dôjdu všetky tieto požehnania, ak budeš počúvať jeho príkazy. And you find also in verse 15, verse 15. Takisto verš 15. Ale ak nebudeš počúvať hlas pána svojho Boha, aby si zachovával a uskutočňoval všetky jeho príkazy a ustanovenia, ktoré ti ja dnes ukladám, doľahnú na teba tieto kliadby a dochytia ťa. So, when I dis- do not obey God's word, the curses will come in the form of sicknesses. Ak nepočúva Božie slovo, prekliatie prichádza vo forme choroby. There are my inner change is most important. Preto je najdôležitejšia moja vnútorná zmena. If I, 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 if I, the inner change, God's blessing will come. Ak mám vnútornú zmenu, prichádza Božie požehnanie. Therefore, then our, our nervous system, body, etc. will be working according to the God wants. 
A potom náš nervový systém a naše, celé naše telo funguje podľa Boha. And if I do not do that, be, our body will be fighting against us. A to nebudem robiť, naše telo bude bojovať proti nám. Finally, one lady who was 26 years old, she is, uh, is deciding to get married somebody. She had plenty of dif- uh, a lot of depression. Uh, and autoimmune diseases. Uh, and uh, I realized that it is because of the lack of love from the father. I made her to forgive her father and love her father and help her to receive love from Jesus and help her to live as she should have been living in her life from childhood onwards like the mother made your Jesus. A spolu sme si prešli cestu jej detstvom, ako by ho žila, aby prijímala lásku od Ježiša a Pany Mária. She was healed of all her sicknesses. Bola uzdravená zo všetkých chorôb. Because going, from going, the, from hating her father who did not love her, now she's forgiving the father and loving him. Prešla od nenávisti svojho otca, And then she is happy that she is a child of the heavenly family. And dear friends, therefore this is very important in our life. We must go from, from worldly attitude to godly attitude. And then healing will come into our life. A vtedy do nášho života príde uzdravenie. Let us pray. Modlíme sa. Lord, thank you for showing us the way how to get healed. Pane, ďakujeme ti, že nám ukazuješ cestu, spôsob, aký máme byť uzdravení. Lord, help us to see Pane, the cause for our problems. Pane, pomôž nám vidieť príčiny našich chorób. And forgive those people who were the, the responsible for it. And after forgiving them, help us to come from the earthly family to the divine family. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Now, those who came today 